Okay, we're back. It's so amazing, you know, uh, there's such a thing called a scratch test. And if somebody was in this beautiful somnambulistic trance, or even just a light trance, and the suggestion is given to you that a small scratch is going to be made on one arm, and this arm is invincible, and uh, after just like a few minutes, you can't even notice that the scratch is there. Um, and, and on the other arm is highly sensitive and it's going to really react and small scratch is going to be made on this and it's possible that that scratch could be there for some time uh, because it's really going to react. So simply the suggestion is given, two small scratches were made, one on each arm. Lo and behold, after a few minutes, you can't even notice the scratch on the arm that's invincible. And the other arm that where the suggestion is given that this scratch is going to uh, really be highly sensitized and there's sure enough there's more inflammation, more edema, uh, more spilling and exudate um, of the material of the cells um, that have oozed out into the scratch. It can even be there for a week or so. Um, so what really occurred where a person um, was influenced just by their mind uh, to have a feeling that there was one arm was going to be much more invisible. If you'd like to come and sit somewhere here, um, you can come and sit down over here, love. Um, is a substance is released where you felt you were sensitized. Substance is released where the scratch is called bradykinin. And bradykinin is a hormone, a local hormone called prostaglandin that's excreted in. It um, produces a substance called histamine, and histamine causes the membrane of our cells to have become more permeable, so there's more inflammation and this sort of thing. Um, what energy and motion that we have within ourselves really does affect uh, the structure of our cells quite incredibly. It's so incredible because if we have two beakers, one beaker, we really are sending our love into this beaker, we even put the word love on this. Another beaker, uh, the word stupid is, or uh, liar, or um, dumb, or some, some negative word is embedded uh, onto uh, that glass and um, of that beaker. And then after just 24 hours of that having occurred, we're just going to put tomato in each of these waters. And then we take the tomatoes out at the end of the night, uh, in the morning, and put them on some paper on a windowsill. Lo and behold, the tomato that was put into the water, which love was projected into this water, even when the skin split of that tomato, it had the ability to heal itself. This tomato lasted for about a month or more. The other tomato uh, was completely perished after about uh, six days. So it's so incredible that we affect the substrate of ourselves. If we just blend pumpkin down and we put those into two jars, one jar we tell children, um, oh gee, love this jar, this is where you're going to put your love. Uh, it's so amazing that the pumpkin doesn't even turn uh, uh, from its beautiful colour of orange. It remains this beautiful colour of orange all the way through the experiment. The other jar, um, they say, oh, um, uh, we just have this word hate on that jar and can't stand and uh, ridiculous and other sort of negative words and it's so amazing that um, that jar completely lost its colour very fast and turned to mould, fungus and yeast. At the end of four or five days you could tell uh, that it had completely broken down incredibly. The other jar where love was emitted into this um, kept its colour and even a month after the experiment it was opened up and lo and behold there were acidophilus, acid loving bacteria. So we do really affect, our energy and motion really does affect the things of ourself um, and certainly two people eating the same thing could have uh, had an effect in their body in, in a unique way. Some person really always manifested uh, in an upper respiratory type of condition where their eyes and their nose and congestion always had come to be. Now they always had a bit of a crying syndrome underneath and their response to things was always to have wept a little bit and they were easily able to weep. The other person ate the same, exactly the same food but their energy and motion processing was uh, 
really to do with issues around love. And so uh, that, this re that really affected their kidneys. And so they had really dark circles under their eyes. They, they were much more sad uh, and this sort of thing. So just how energy and motion can have really affected the shape of ourselves. And our lecture today has on the program that you've been watching has all been, all been about I awareness and this original self which is empty being without interpretation. So as we're a child, of course, we have no interpretation. We just sort of see a leaf falling outside the window. It's just simply a leaf falling outside the window. Look outside, we see a garbage dump, simply a garbage dump. Somebody walking across the room, it's just simply somebody walking across the room. No interpretation. And then little by little as adults, we can have learned to interpret what we were seeing and then all of this energy and motion can have been other than original and this can have had such a marked effect on the health of ourselves. So I hope that you really have enjoyed uh, this uh, lecture that we've done all about eye awareness and our original self and how this affects the structure and certainly how this affects colloids of life having formed into life colloids as spores which modern medicine calls viruses viruses formed with other viruses and fused together to come a double spores and then double spores grew a little tail to become a bacteria or uh, blood and cells. This is Dr. David Jubb. This is the universe inside our mind. Stay tuned for some more exciting shows coming up.